Now, at first, you would assume that this feature of JavaScript and Lua in other languages like Ruby is nice because the undefined doesn't break. As front-end developers, we deal with a lot of back-ends that have technical debt or data coming from a variety of sources that we have no idea where it's coming from. Front-end, back-end, who knows? And we don't want to have the nuances of every single thing must be checked. So it's kind of nice that if it's undefined, a lot of times it's actually okay. The problem is when we use it in situations where it's not okay. So let me give you a solution where it's kind of confusing. In this case, we're going to get a person object and format their last name and first name. Last name first, comma, first name. And if we run this code as is, you can see that we get undefined Jesse. So undefined is okay. The property doesn't exist. It's okay to access it. And it's okay to inject it in this interpolated string. The problem is, what does this mean exactly? Does this mean the data is wrong? Does it mean our code's wrong? It's very confusing. The good news is that the UI works, but it could hint in either bad data or bad code. We don't know which. It's not very obvious. And this is actually a very frustrating one because there's no hints about what it is. The entire onus is on you. There's no stack trace or debugs or anything else. Where it gets really dangerous though is when it causes null pointer exception. In this case, we're going to validate that the person we got on the back end is legitimate. And if, in this case, if it has a last name, that's full, it's okay. But if it has a last name or a first name that length is not long enough, that means whatever they submitted in a form is incorrect and we're not gonna inject that into the database. If both of them have at least one character, we're good to go. Some people have names with one character and that's completely fine. So we'll run this validation function. You can see it's okay with this first name and last name correct. But if we empty out the last name, the user decided not to input it or perhaps the front end has a bug, you'll notice that the validation catches it. But watch what happens when we completely remove the last name property. And this function takes an undefined. Next thing you know, we get a null pointer. It's saying that cannot read property length of undefined, which means that last name is actually undefined, which means that person is not undefined. Now I know that because I wrote the code, but you'd have to investigate the stack trace and figure all that out on your own. So this is a case where you have a bunch of imperative style code and you have to go investigate where it actually broke. And this is why object access of properties when you get undefined is very problematic and dealing with undefined is not always the greatest thing. Just because you get an undefined, your program doesn't crash. Sometimes you're just postponing the inevitable where it's going to crash later.